There is a leak in the system somewhere. Oh, here it is. Hi, this is another and the last video about my compressed air system, where I started with this and ended up with this. I purchased this 300 feet airline kit at Princess Auto, similar to Maxline. It is 3 quarter inside diameter PEX aluminum PEX tubing. It came with 4 3 quarter to half inch NPT reducers. two three-quarter inch T's, twenty-five clips, and four aluminum blocks with drain valves, plugs, and two quick couplers. I didn't use those blocks terminals, I made my own filters, regulators, and oilers. I use this old school laser beam to track the tubing run and put those clips on the wall first. I didn't use any device to straighten the tubing. It is quite flexible. One can do it by hand and on a flat surface. To bend the tubing I made this kind of jig and I jiggy with it. You can make those 8-9 inches radius bends by hand, but using this jig I can measure the length of the drop, plus 1 inch, one inch just in case. and then measure the long run on the wall. Now I measured that this point should be at the edge of this T, but the tubing will go deeper into the fitting, so I measure how deep it has to go in to get a good seal, and I mark it on the tubing. This is my cutting point. I use those traditional cutters that make straight cuts. But the tubing is thick. The knife on the tool goes only past the aluminum layer, so I finish it with a regular knife. It cuts part of the inner PEX layer. Cutters that came with the kit are not good. They bend the tubing and the cut is not really straight. Checking the depth mark. All good.
This kit comes with a special tool to prepare the end of the tubing to put it onto the fitting. And here you can see the result. Lubricate a little bit with a soapy water. Put the nut, compression ring, and push the tubing into the fitting. Up to the mark. And it is ready to be tightened. Tubing on the wall. It runs close to the wall, so it is bent at the end to meet the terminal. It bends easily with hands. The other drop down to terminal. Again, easily bent. The tubing on the wall on this side of the garage is ready. The long run from the T goes in a slope of 2 inches down. It will help to drain water condensation away from the compressor. Now, this T will be connected to the other side of the garage. The tubing from compressor runs up and gets into this corner of the garage. To make connection between the two tubings on the walls, I have to hang the tubing. So I made this kind of hangers. They can be regulated up and down. Here is the connection run. Connecting tubing with terminals. I mark the edge, measure the depth for the tubing to go in. Mark it. Cut it. Prepare it. A little bit of soap. Push it in.
clip the tubing onto the wall. It is straight now and fits. No, I didn't forget the compression ring and nut. They were held up with this piece of wire. Compression ring, nut. Witness mark. Pliers and counter hold. Three quarter turn. And the connection is done. The tube sticks out here, but gets closer to the wall here. Finished installation. So now I have three quarter inch outlet from the compressor, three quarter fittings, valve and three quarter connection holes, three quarter regulator and half inch drain drop. See my other video where I present my build of air dryer. This terminal will be perfect to run my 20 ton shop press. Operated by compressed air. And my tire changing station. The second one supplies air for my paint gun. And my sand blaster. I need volume of air here. Therefore, I use different T coupler. The third, same like the first one, is close to the door, so I can use it to run tools when I work outside. Obviously, the connection run goes with a slope of about 2 inches. On this wall I couldn't run any slope, since I was limited by the ceiling and the door frame. Closer view of the hanger. I used rubber pieces cut from a bike tire to protect tubing from sharp metal edges. Let's run this thing. I run the compressor at 150 psi. When it stops running, the filter spits water condensation. This much water didn't get into the tank and the system. I will hang here some kind of container to collect this water and avoid spraying it on the wall and on the compressor tank. Let's pressurize the system. Notice that the compressor stopped but the fan is still running for preset time. I set the regulator for the system at 120 psi. By the way, this union was the only place I had leaking air. After a few tries I managed to get it to the sweet spot. No more leaks. Regulator set to 90 psi. Let's spray some soapy water. No leaks.
The whole terminals were checked for leaks when built. You can see it in my other video. When we look into the instructions that came with the kit, three quarter, here you have the list of all components, but here they copy paste instructions from push connect type of kit, which is useless here. You have to search online for MaxLine kit installation to find out how to assemble it. Or you can use my experience. Anyhow, so far I am happy with this purchase.